Hey everyone, UW Ultra here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you a new video of Cyberpunk 2077, playing this on my PC and on my Odyssey G9. Now looking here at the settings, I am playing at a resolution of 5120 by 1440 and all in-game settings set to max, including Psycho Ray Tracing and DLSS set to performance. Now before going any further, just a few things to note. First, if you enjoy this video and the content on my channel, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We're still on the road to a thousand subscribers and every little bit helps as we continue to make that climb. Also, down in the description, you can find a few different pieces of information which include a full detailed list of my Odyssey G9 picture settings and NVIDIA control panel settings, a 5% discount code for coffee and tea orders, and a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly. Now continuing to play this with my newer character, uh, this is a level 14 character now, and again just continuing my general uh, play through the campaign, kind of treating this as a new game plus playthrough, but the game overall looks exceptional on a monitor like this. Um, again, the performance is pretty stable. Uh, again, when playing at a 3090 of this resolution, for the most part you're sitting between 50 and 60 in most instances, um, however there are dips in this, you know, the denser city environments in the 40s. But overall, again, the game does look fantastic, and, and this is, uh, again, a great showcase as to why, for me personally, I play all first-person titles now on my Odyssey G9. Um, it's just kind of a rule I formed now at this point, just because of the, the immersion that this kind of screen uh, creates, that, again, playing first-person titles on anything else uh, d does... It feels a little bit limited, again, when when sitting in front of a monitor like this for the first time. So, again, it's a beautiful game. Uh, it looks fantastic on this screen. And uh, overall, just loving the, the game as a whole, thanks to the new updates, um, especially update 1.6. With all that, though, I'll go ahead and stop the commentary here. Uh, no spoilers up ahead. I'm just uh, engaging with some of the gigs around, uh, around the city and just really exploring the city overall, but no story content directly. Let me know down in the comments, though, what you guys think, if you have any questions as well about the Odyssey G9. I appreciate you guys for all of your support. Please don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll talk to you later. Daddy and his doll sitting in their high castle giving me some wars about some dog. Right. <laughs> 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 Ah! 
cut. Right there. Wakey, wakey, right, gentlemen. What, what, what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. We can figure Expedia this out. Expedia of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch with boys. No clue who their daddies are. I'm gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit rider on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa? I think I know the one he wants. BD-9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure for everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections. Not who makes them. Kindly hand it the fuck over. Now. All right, please, just relax. Just take it. Freddy! Sir, it's just behind us on the shelf. BD-9430. That's it. That's the one. Just, just take it. Why did you have to kill him? Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. <laughs>